Hi guys, so what we have here today is a rack mounted 4U ATX case and what I'm going to do is transfer my home server which is downstairs in a regular case in my rack and I'm going to put that in the new case here. Uh, when I first got this case it was a little bit beat up cosmetically so what I did is I took it apart and spray painted it red uh, because that's the color that I had at the time even though my kids wanted me to paint it purple and blue with polka dots I didn't do that. So anyways, um, I'm going to put it together and we'll go from there. So here's the new case that's uh, been put back together. I just want to show a couple things real quick. Got the front of the case here uh, that's locked. One thing I do like is a filter for the fan, which is nice. Standard uh, buttons and so forth. Uh, up top We've got a little cage here which is fan and a little speaker. Next to that we do have drive cage, so the hard drives, DVD, RW, gonna go in here. And just the inside. It's a little bit dirty. Actually I'm gonna have to clean that up before we get our parts in. Oh. This computer here, which is just a regular desk mounted case, is my home server. And this is what's actually going to get replaced by the rack mounted case that I showed you upstairs. So I wanted to show you the inside of the home server. And this is what's going to go in the previous case that I showed you, the one that I painted up. What we have in here is an AMD Athlon 2 X3435. There's two gigabytes of RAM, just about two terabytes of storage uh, spread across those three drives. Uh, the motherboard is an ASUS M48, no, M4A78-EM. Uh, it's a micro ATX board, and that's about it. So I'm going to take this apart and stick it in the new case. Okay, so I've got everything out of the old computer. Uh, I was right. I did have just under 2 terabytes total. I have a... Uh, two Western Digital Black Drives, a terabyte drive and a 750 gig, a 320 gig SATA drive, it's a Seagate Barracuda drive. Got my 600 watt Rocket Fish power supply. Uh, it is from Best Buy but I haven't had a problem with it. It's been pretty solid. Just a plain Jane TDK um, DVD RW doesn't really get much use but I leave it in there when I need it and motherboard which you saw previously and that's about it so we're gonna get everything now that we got everything out we'll put everything in the new location and uh, we'll see what that looks like so I got everything in the case and I ran into a couple of things um, and both of them not good in my opinion uh, first off you can see that there's not very much room between the motherboard, which ends here, and my drive cage, which is here. And that wouldn't really be too much of a problem except for the fact that my power supply and its jumble of cables end up sort of hanging out here. It doesn't really give those drives a lot of space to breathe. Um, even though this power supply is modular and I only have in the cables that I need uh, for this build, uh, it, it is sort of a jumbled mess there. Uh, but the bigger problem that I have is this Rocket Fish power supply, even though just previously I said it was uh, going strong for you know almost a couple years, uh, shorted out uh, when I plugged it in to do a quick test. Uh, I'm not sure what happened from when I took it out to when I put it in this new case. Um, all I know is that when I did test it, the uh, power supply shorted. Uh, actually, I tripped my GFCI outlet here in my garage, and um, you know, after a couple of quick tests, you know, I, I really could verify that. Yep, it really did short out. So, um, so that's a little bit of a bigger problem. So what I decided. Um, Obviously, I need to get a replacement for this power supply. Uh, but I also think I want to rethink my strategy of um, moving my home server into this case. Um, I like the idea of having a case, a rack-mounted case for my home server. 
Uh, I think it's just uh, a little bit better um, for my my uh, network rack in the basement. Uh, but I don't want to use this particular case uh, for those two reasons. So I do have something else in mind. Um, so you just have to stay tuned. Thanks.